read you a story in front of a fire because it's all nice and cosy and it's so cold outside. So today I'm going to read An Evening at Alfie's by Shirley Hughes. And this is Alfie here and he's he's quite a little boy um, and he's he's playing with his Noah's Ark. One cold winter's evening, that's like at the moment, Alfie and his little sister Annie Rose were all ready for bed. He does look snug in his little dressing gown. Mum and Dad were ready to go out. And Mrs McNally's Maureen was in the living room. She had come to look after Alfie and Annie Rose while Mum went to a party. There they are, They're just off waving and Alfie and Annie Rose are waving out of the window. Alfie and Maureen waved goodbye to them from the window and Annie Rose was already in her cot. Soon she settled down went to sleep. When Maureen had finished the story, it was time for Alfie to go to bed. She came upstairs to tuck him up and had to be very quiet and talk in a whisper in case she woke up Annie Rose. Maureen gave Alfie a good night hug and went off downstairs, leaving the door a little bit open. Alfie didn't fall, feel sleepy. He lay in bed looking at the patch of light on the ceiling. For a long time, all was quiet. And then he heard a funny noise outside on the landing. Alfie sat up. The noise was just outside his door. Drip, drip, drip. Soon it got quicker. It changed to drip, 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 drip. It was getting louder too. Alfie got out of bed and peeped around the door and there was a puddle on the floor. He looked up. Water was splashing into the puddle from the ceiling. Drip, 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 drip. It was raining inside the house. Alfie went downstairs. Maureen was doing her homework in front of the television. It's raining on the landing, Alfie told her. Oh dear, that would be a bit frightening, wouldn't it, to find it raining on the landing? Alfie and Maureen went back upstairs. The puddle was getting bigger. The drip, 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 drip had now turned into splash, splash, splash. Hmm, looks like a burst pipe, said Maureen. A plumber was one of the things she rather wanted to be when she left school. Better get a bucket, she said. So Alfie showed her where the buckets were kept in the kitchen cupboard with the brushes and the broom. Just then, Annie Rose woke up and she began to cry. Shh, shh, Mrs McNally said she had come to help. Bending over her cot, but Annie Rose only looked at her and cried even louder. Mrs McNally ran back out onto the landing and she and Maureen tried to mop up the water. But now the drips were coming from lots of different places, splashing and splashing all over the place. We ought to turn the water off at the main, said Maureen, but I don't know how to do it. I think we'd better fetch Dad. While she was gone, Mrs McNally mopped and mopped and emptied the brimming bowls and in between mopping and emptying, she ran to try and comfort Annie Rose. But Annie Rose went on crying and crying. The drips on the landing came faster and faster. Now there were lots of puddles on the floor. Alfie paddled in them for a while. It was quite fun, but the water was very, very cold. He thought that soon perhaps the whole street would be covered with water and they would all have to float away in a boat, a little bit like Noah's Ark. Soon Maureen came running upstairs with Mr McNally close behind her wearing his bedroom slippers. What's all this then? said Mr McNally, looking at all the water pouring down. He put his head round the bedroom door. He and Annie Rose were old friends. Dear, dear, 
what's all this? He said in a very kind voice. And then he went downstairs and found a large sort of tap under the stairs and turned it off, just like that. So that's where it is, said Maureen. Then the water stopped pouring down from the ceiling, splash, 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 and became a drip, 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 and then a drip, drip, drip. And then it stopped altogether. Oh, thank goodness, said Mrs McNally. Oh, I'll know how to do it next time, said Maureen. But Annie Rose was still crying. Alfie went into the bedroom to see if he could cheer her up. Tears were rolling down her little cheeks and soaking into her blanket. Oh, don't cry, Annie Rose, said Alfie, and he put his hand through the bars of the cot and patted her very gently. And as, just as he had seen Mum do sometimes, Annie Rose wore nappies at night. Annie Rose is wet, said Alfie. And her bed's wet too, I expect. That's why she's crying. Oh, so she is. Poor little mite, said Mrs McNally. Oh, at least they found out what's wrong with her. When Annie Rose was all dry and comfortable again, Mrs McNally put her on the living room sofa with Alfie and tucked a quilt around them. And then she gave them both a nice biscuit. Annie Rose was quite cheerful now. She got very friendly with Mr McNally and he let her play a game with him, taking off his glasses and putting them on again. And then she sucked her thumb and leaned against Alfie. And Alfie leaned against her. When Mum and Dad came home, they were both fast asleep. Next morning, Mum told Alfie not to turn on the taps until the plumber had been to mend the burst pipe. Alfie didn't mind not having a wash. He'd had enough water the evening before to last him for a long time. That was a busy evening, wasn't it? But it's a nice end to the story. Everything happy, happy, happy ending. <laughs>